Droners, welcome. We are gonna talk about something that isn't necessarily the most exciting thing, but possibly could save your life, house, or other property from you. And all the drones that we do, we work with, or at least 98% of them we work with on this show and talk about, are powered by batteries. And all of them that I've ever worked with are LiPo batteries. So I wanna to talk to you a little bit today about the safety working with them and what you need to know while you're playing with these drones. All right, first off, these are all called LiPo batteries or lithium polymer batteries. And they're amazing because they're, you know, that's why drones use them is that these things have a really lightweight, they hold a crap ton of power, and they have a higher discharge weight, which means they kind of patch, pack more of a punch than most other kind of batteries do. Um, the thing about that sucks about them is that they have shorter lifestyles than other kinds of batteries, like 300, 400 life cycles. It's pretty much the most you can get out of them. And they're very volatile. The lithium inside of them will blow up. Yes, it will. Um, it doesn't happen very often, specifically because battery safety has become a lot better in recent years. But one thing that you should always do is make sure when you're charging these batteries is that you're using a battery LiPo, LiPo battery bag. And that is because the most dangerous time using these batteries is charging them. That is when the lithium will have the highest chance of that, of blowing up and doing all the things that it could do, or catching on fire. You can see a bunch of videos online of that happening. So every time you're charging it, run the car cord into one of these things. They normally have little slots on the side. But either way, I highly recommend it. I use it even for my super sturdy, never had a problem with DJI batteries. It's just a safety precaution that you use because why not be safe over sorry? Last thing about these is that these are super inexpensive. This thing I think was like a dollar online. You could buy them on Amazon. They're really, really cheap and it can save you a lot of time and money in the future. One other danger of having one of these kind of batteries is that if you ever actually crash your drone and one of these things get punctured or has shows any sign of swelling ever, that is super dangerous. You should not use that battery anymore. You should completely discharge it and dispose of it. And we'll talk about battery disposal in a second. Also, these things are, when you store these batteries, you have to make sure that you just charge them to the proper percentage. You don't want to have these things completely discharged or completely charged when you're gonna store them for long term. So every time I'm gonna fly drones, I typically charge my batteries the night before or the morning of. I don't want my batteries to stay with a full charge for very long at all because that actually depreciates the lifespan. Like I said, three to 400 cycles, the three to 400 number is completely determined on how well you take care of your batteries. The best time, to, the best way to store these things is exactly how I have this right now. You wanna store these at 50% especially if you know you're not going to be flying within the next 48 to 72 hours. You want to get them as close to 72, as close to 50% as you can. And DJI even has a very helpful thing on their apps is that if you have DJI batteries, you can go into the DJI Go app and actually have the batteries auto discharge anywhere from one to 10 days after they're fully charged. Super useful thing and the Inspire 2 batteries actually automatically do it. So highly recommend you go into your settings, make sure you're at 50% every time you're not flying and only charge all the way up when you're going to fly and only let it be completely discharged when you're done flying. Last thing for storage is that these batteries, as it says all over the side of them, is that they're sensitive to heat, they're also sensitive to moisture. Make sure that when you're using these things, you keep them away from wetness. Wetness is horrible for LiPo batteries because that's what can cause them to catch on fire or short out and destroy the battery life, destroy the battery in general. And when you have them stored, you want to have them in the temperatures that it has on the side of them because they all have warnings all over them. Every single battery has warnings all over the side of them. Read the warnings in the batteries. It'll tell you what the temperature range for the battery should be. It'll tell you what you shouldn't do. It'll tell you where to store them. Keep them in a cool, dry area, just like foods and stuff. And these batteries, like I said, you take care of them, they'll take care of you, and they'll last as long as you allow them to. One problem that I've had when flying with the DJI batteries is the battery temperature. I've flown in cold weather before, and I've actually had to purchase the uh, battery warmers for the Inspire because I was flying in temperatures under 41 degrees. You definitely need to warm up your batteries if you're gonna be flying anything. Pretty much the rule of thumb is 40 degrees outside Fahrenheit, then you're gonna wanna have some kind of way of keeping them warm, keeping them, um, there's actually like little uh, battery warmers that they sell. Highly recommend it, it's very useful, it's gonna help us so your batteries stay safe, that you keep your drone safe, because if it gets below the temperature, it's not gonna work properly, and you could even have battery failure, which means engine failure, which means crashing your drone, which you don't wanna do. If your battery ever starts leaking for any reason at all, don't touch it, let it leak out, and then dispose of it, which is something we should talk about. Let's talk about how to get rid of and dispose it. There is two ways you can dispose your battery. One of them is you can call your local hobby shop and just go drop off your batteries to them. They're gonna have a way to dispose of them. That's honestly the easiest way to do it. Or there's a DIY way, which of course a lot of drone pilots and things like like, like to do DIY. Um, Cause you actually can throw these in the trash can, but after you do the proper disposal and dischargeal, what you're gonna do is discharge it down as low as you can um, with your drone or whatever you're gonna use to do that. Just get the battery as low as you can. And then what you're gonna do is make a salt water bath. 
you know, just like a tub with water and salt because salt is a natural conductor, so is water, and it's just gonna be able to take all of the charges in this battery and just disperse it throughout the water. It's gonna be warm water bath. You're going to leave it in the bath for uh, 24 hours and then you're going to check the voltage on it. It's a voltmeter. You can check it on the, the wires or whatever. Make sure all your wires are submerged completely for that 24 hours and just submerge it, keep it in there. After it's completely checked with your voltmeter, completely gone, completely nothing left on that charge, then you can safely dispose of it. Because obviously you don't want to be keeping around these possible uh, liabilities is what I call them that might just blow up on you one day because you keep energy in them. So if you're completely done with the battery, make sure you, you dispose of it at your local hobby shop or you use a salt bath and then throw it away. That was all not as exciting as it could have been, but it's really important to know this stuff. And this is kind of why Joiner U videos exist, is to tell you the things you need to know, regardless of how exciting they may or may not be. Um, one thing that I do get a lot of questions about is flying in airplanes. Um, like, can I take my batteries off my airplanes? The answer is yes. Yes, you can. You use them, you put them in your carry-on luggage. I personally travel with them inside of my handy-dandy LiPo bags. I also keep them at 50% or lower, um, probably 50% because that's my traveling and my storage time um, when it comes to that. But yeah, they, they travel just fine. Just keep them in the LiPo bags. Uh, FAA and the security people, whoever, they're not gonna stop you. They're not gonna say, oh, what are you carrying with this? They know what it is. They've seen drones a bunch of times. They're not gonna freak out. Just make sure you're being safe with them. Make sure you have them at 50% or less. And make sure you keep them in a LiPo bag and everything should be just fine. Carry them on. And if you put them in your check bag, you will definitely get called down there, which may or may not have happened to me in Cambodia. And it is not, may or maybe or maybe not embarrassing entirely to see everyone see you have to pull them out and put them in here. Either way, don't do it. Don't check your batteries. It's not fun. It's not a fun experience. Make sure you carry them on. Droners, thank you for enjoying this battery inspired Droner U video. So much fun. Obviously not the most fun, but whatever. If you want to have some fun with us, then there's more videos that are fun over here because this is fun stuff. This is important stuff. It's fun stuff. You can also see our intro video up there because it is the dopest video ever. And... You should make sure that you subscribe because that makes it allows us to do the things we do. Really appreciate that. It keeps you updated on what we're doing. And as always, make sure you stay fly.